Pico de gallo is a fresh made sauce in that case here, which we should let rest and chill cold probably for a half hour, hour at least to get the flavors all together. Will be good in the fridge for a few days actually if you store it well. And well, it's about cutting fresh ingredients to a small size. I recommend cut them all equally and very fine. Take out the seeds from the chilies, they will be too aggressive for your stomach. And well, here for my recipe, which also will come below the video, I will use a few different varieties of onion. You can just use one onion if you like to. I'm just playing with the colors here, using red onion, white pearl onion, and green onion. You can use just one single chili of the ones I'm having here, or you can use all of them combining again, just to play with the colors. I'm having here red and green serrano pepper, um, in ripe getting and in green jalapeno pepper. I got chili manzano, the apple pepper, and then we have different colors of habanero peppers. We have some lime, we're gonna squeeze out the juice and strain it. Salt, pepper, some fresh coriander cilantro, and we got tomatoes, we're gonna to take the seed section away, and some garlic, which we're gonna fine dice too. Everything we're gonna to mix together, and that's it. And well, let me show you how to do it.